classic movie, It's a Wonderful Life, is a great lesson about overcoming trials in life, facing a major life crisis, and then finding hope, resilience, and post-traumatic growth. The movie is based on the book, The Greatest Gift. This video is my review and summary of the fictional character George Bailey, played by James Stewart from this view of a therapist. In this movie, George is facing bankruptcy, prison, humiliation, and is considering suicide, and yet learns to confront these problems after realizing all the good that he has done in this world and the support he has all around him. As I say in my first book, each life will experience good and bad, but identifying both will show the growth you have had. If we're just meeting for the first time, I'm Hugh Watt, founder and author of Trial Tappers. Our motto is, we tap pain, we find a path, and we grow stronger. My mission is to help you find hope, resilience, and post-traumatic growth after life's trials and traumas. After my brother committed suicide, this movie took on new meaning for me. I was deep in writing my books about the experience when I took a break from writing for two days before Christmas to watch this movie like I do every year with my family. I have watched this more than 25 times, but this year I had a very eye-opening experience. In this movie, the suicidal man gets the chance to see both the good and bad events he's had in his life and how different things would have been if he would never been born. You might not have dissected the movie like I did. And I admit I'm looking at it through the lens of a therapist. The story of George looking back on his life gives hope to many people facing trials. This movie helps you identify the good and bad events in your life. George was a successful businessman and president of a hometown credit union. He had been happily married for many years and had four beautiful children. Although his life seemed to be going well, George had experienced some trials in his life. The three biggest trials were losing what, his hearing as a young boy and never achieving his dreams to go to college or become an architect, and then eventually his father passing away from his stroke when he was in his 20s. One day an innocent mistake occurred when he entrusted his uncle with making an $8,000 bank deposit. His uncle lost the money and did not make the deposit. What followed was a storm of events that led George to contemplate suicide. The triggering event was the loss of the bank deposit. George predicted the worst, thinking of scandal, bankruptcy, and possibly prison. When he did ask for help from the competing bank president, he accused him of embezzling and spending the money on another woman. A warrant was issued for his arrest, and expecting the worst, he returned home and withdrew from his wife, refusing to explain the problems he was facing. When he was at home, his pit of despair and inability to appropriately express his feelings to his wife led to uncontrolled anger. He lashed out at an innocent school teacher and threatened her husband over a minor problem. He then destroyed the living room and committed a domestic violence act in the presence of children. His wife kicked him out of the house and then George went to the local bar to solve his problems with alcohol. While at the bar, he got drunk and was assaulted by the school teacher's husband who just happened to be there. George left the bar intoxicated, drove under the influence of alcohol, and crashed his car. Knowing that there was a warrant for his arrest and that the police were looking for him, he abandoned his car and left the scene of an accident. These events led George to the point of giving up on himself and, be, and he began to contemplate suicide. Admittedly, not a religious man, George momentarily sought the advice of a religious leader but he quickly lost patience and headed back into town to make more poor choices. He soon found himself trespassing on an abandoned property, resisting arrest, and fleeing from police, and within the hour, police located George in town, where he then punched the officer, knocking him to the ground, and fled while the officer was shooting in his direction. Now this is where things turn around and growth happens. George realized he was in a weakened state, but he did not know how to solve the trial. He then sought help from an unseen being, or God. This led George to return to listen to the previous religious leader who wanted to help him by calmly pointing out the positive things he had done in his life. With a review of all the good things he had done in his life, he was amazed at the impact he made on others. This religious leader helped George realize that the good deeds he had accomplished in life far outweighed the actions of the past 24 hours. With the help of his counselor, 
George quickly identified the following positive things in his life. One, he saved his brother from drowning in a frozen pond. Two, his brother grew up to be a war hero, saving a ship full of men from destruction. Three, he saved a child's life from being poisoned by an intoxicated pharmacist. Four, he saved the pharmacist from prison and, and homelessness. Five, he saved his family's business. Six, he saved manufacturing and employed hundreds in his town. Seven, he sent his brother to college and took care of his parents. Eight, he sacrificed his own money to pay company investors during a financial crisis. Nine, he volunteered his time and efforts for the community. 10, he built low-income housing for hundreds of families. 11, he saved the town from a slumlord and excessive bars and strip joints. 12, he restored an abandoned property. 13, he married a beautiful woman and had four beautiful children. 14, he took care of his widowed mother. 15, he devoted his life to helping others gain financial prosperity. During the worst day of his life, he decided to help someone else who looked like they were drowning in a frozen river. He listened to the counselor as they reviewed both the good and bad in his life. He was willing to return home, face the legal challenges, and stop demonstrating harmful behaviors. He accepted help from his family and friends. George took on the trial action path to strong growth. George decided to recover and repair his relationships with family and friends and to return home and face the waiting authorities planning to arrest him. He was expecting the police, but it was even worse when the media were there to cover the story. As often occurs in life, but much to his surprise, George found that his family and friends overlooked his past discretions and rallied to his support. Many community members donated money to make up the lost deposit and a friend offered a line of credit to cover the rest. The authorities recalled the warrant and the original financial problem and lost bank deposit was resolved. The future is unknown, yet George's past observable behaviors demonstrated that his impact to the community did change the lives of thousands of people. His passion has always been to build communities for low-income families and he will continue to do so into the future. Who knows, he might even become a senator willing to help build a boys camp. In the last scene of the movie, George stands with his wife and children surrounded by many friends as they help him resolve the troubles of the past day. The best line I found in the movie was said by the angel Clarence. Each man's life touches so many other lives. When he isn't around, he leaves an awful big hole. I strongly encourage you to rent this movie and watch it from the perspective that I just laid out. The original movie was in black and white, but there is now a color version. Even if you have not seen the movie, the summary I have given you should give you an understanding of George's trial. Comment below what is one life trial you overcame. See the links below for per to purchase the movie or books about the movie. George Bailey applied many skills to become a trial tapper, and if you want to learn more about how to do the same, then you're going to want to watch my other videos on how to become a trial tapper. See you in the next video.